Hello and welcome to How to Split Long Posts. I'm Javis Lewis and this is a video I've made in response to something I was discussing with Helen and with James. You guys had uh, uh, almost the same issues and this is about if your posts are too long and they're drowning out the second post on your front page or you've got so much content that readers have to scroll a long way onto a page to get to see your content. So those are the two things. One is a feature that's called the more feature. You can use that for front page posts or for the way posts on the front page are displayed. And the next one, which is a very related feature in WordPress, that is the next page feature. And that works on single posts and pages. So let me show you what I mean by that. This is my WP Guru website here. And if we go to the home page, I can show you the first feature that I mean. How to bulk delete posts in WordPress with MySQL. This is displayed on the front page. And it teases an article. And then on the front page, it goes straight to the next article. But of course, this article really is much longer. And if I click on this, then I see the whole article, which has screenshots and everything. And it's, it's fairly long. And it's even got, uh, well, a section for comments. It hasn't got any comments right now. but So it's a fairly long article. But on my front page, this long article isn't quite displayed. So there's in WordPress, there is an option that lets you say, hey, at this point, WordPress, I would like you to not display the rest of the article. Instead, I'd like you to go to the next article. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. And the second feature, which I'm going to demo afterwards, is inside a single post, like this one, which is also very long. If it is so long that the users would have to scroll so much and lose themselves in your content, there's an option that you can split this into several sub-pages. But you only write one article. You don't write three articles or three posts. You only write one. And then you give WordPress a similar instruction to say, hey, once you reach this, make users click on the number two button so that they can continue reading the article. And I'm going to show you how to do both. So here I am on my local development site. And this is the front page. And I've got a really long post here, super long blog post. And you can see how long it is. I have to scroll quite a while and further and further until I get to this lovely skeleton here, which is my second post. Now, by which time I may have lost the reader or I don't really want to display that much on the front page. So how do we deal with that? In our WordPress backend, we go to the posts or posts, so you just click on edit the post in question. And this works in the visual editor. If I were to decide to place that feature just after the block quote here, maybe right here, you place your cursor where you want that feature. You may insert a, a return there. And there's this button here in the what they call the kitchen sink. And this is called the more tag. So if you click that, WordPress inserts a harmless little line here, and we're going to look at the, the, how that's done in the HTML editor in a second. If I update the page quickly, and go back to the front page, refresh my page, then we'll see that WordPress has put the continue reading thing in here. The words continue reading are actually provided by the theme, so if you wanted to change that, that's not that easy. You'd have to tweak the theme. But for demo purposes, we'll just leave it as it is. Out of a sudden, my super long blog post is much shorter on the front page, much better. So if we click on the headline, we go to that post, and there it is in its entirety. So we haven't lost any content, but it's just the way we're displaying it on the front page that is now much easier to digest for visitors. If you click on continue reading, then your users will be put at that point in the article. So the uh, first part is still here, but they will see the thing that leads on from your break right at the top of the page. So that's number one, that's the more feature. So what's actually happened here? Apart from this line, which you're more than welcome to tick and just hit the delete button if you don't want it there, and if instead you wanted it somewhere else, like maybe here, you can totally do that. You just, you know, park your cursor where you like it, click the insert more button, and that puts it here. You can only use this one time, so you can't use it twice. If I put that here as well, 
So technically, I have two more attacks here now, but that's not going to work. So if I update that and look at my front page again, then WordPress will use the earlier break. It will completely ignore the second break, which is something to be aware of. So I'm going to delete that second one because we don't need it anymore. Just click it and hit delete. That's all. So what WordPress is really doing here is it inserts a special tag, an HTML tag or a modified HTML tag that is being ignored by the browser. If you go into the text editor here or the HTML editor, then you can see here what WordPress is doing. So it's not really inserting the H3 tag here. That's just happened by accident, so we can ignore that here. What WordPress is really doing, it's inserting the more tag here. So it starts with, with one of those HTML brackets, exclamation mark, minus, minus, the words more, minus, minus, close HTML bracket. And to the browser, this is just a comment, so the browser completely ignores it. But when WordPress hits this, it says, ah, must break page. Excellent, we'll do that. And it can do that for long blog posts as well. Uh, and it uses the same format, just instead of the more, you'll have next page in there. Sadly, there's no button for that. They've removed that in one of the versions of WordPress. I think they wanted to get rid of some of the clutter on the top here. I don't know why they had to remove that next page button. It's one of those things that I like using every once in a while. So let's go back to that single blog post, which is still very, very long. And let me split that into maybe three or four pages here. Let me show you how to do that. So you have to do this from the HTML editor. You can't do this from the visual editor, sadly, because this is an HTML tag we're dealing with. So go in here. We'll leave the more tag intact. You can, you can use them uh, together. Maybe here, I want to have this. So it's exclamation mark, hyphen, hyphen, next page, hyphen, hyphen, thingy bracket. I'm just going to copy that because I'm going to add that a couple more times further to the bottom here. This is guesswork. It's, it's, it's best when this integrates with your article. So find a break while you're writing and imagine, hey, this is, this is a good break for this section. Add a few. You can use as many as you like. And just for demo, I'm going to put maybe another one over here. And then we'll let it through. So I've got about five here. Update your page refresh it. So this is the single blog post here. This is not the home page. Refresh it. And we come to our first break page, break point, and WordPress says, ah, I can find, well, six in total, six break points. And that's going to be split into pages. So hit number two, and the reader can continue reading from number two. Hit number three, and there we go. Wonderful user experience this is. Now again, this article itself hasn't been split up as such, so a search engine will see this as a complete article, which is your advantage. So this uh, reader button on the iPad, for example, will still work and will still display the entire article, but users visiting your web page will get a much better experience now. The way this is styled, by the way, is also supplied by your theme, so you can color these in if you like. It's, it's a, you know, a bit of a CSS tweak, but it's, it's possible. If you go back into the back end and you would switch to the visual editor, then you can see that just like WordPress can insert a more line here, you can see where in the text this thing happens. So this is the, the, one, the first one we've inserted as next page. So if you scroll through this and if you, if you want to reread your text and see, well, where am I going to put this? You can see all your next page tags here. And just like with the more tag, you can just select this and you can delete it. What you can't do is add them in the visual editor. For this, you need to go back into the HTML editor or text editor, it's now called. There is a very helpful plugin that brings this button back as a visual thing, just like this about here, and it's called the Next Page Buttons plugin. You can get it from the WordPress repository. Well, and that is it. This is how you split a long post into several sub-pages and how you make your 
front page content look much more palatable. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.